Today we're going to go over the top 10 most insane water slides. Number 10, Aqua Duck. This epic water coaster ride hurdles you 765 feet through an acrylic tube filled with water on top of a cruise ship. It's located on the Disney Fantasy Cruise Liner and it spans four decks giving you an amazing view of the ship and ocean as you make your way around and off the slide. This coaster is definitely one of a kind, definitely something I want to try out. Number 9. Summit Plummet The most extreme attraction at Disney's Blizzard Beach, this slide rockets you down a sheer 120 foot slope. Hardcore thrill seekers won't want to miss this ski jump that's so steep you can't see where you're going until you're there. The digital stop clock will also display your top speed. Number 8. Tantrum Alley Tantrum Alley incorporates two large sections of downhill water slides and three exciting tornadoes. People are put on a four-person tube and travel downhill to enter the first tornado where they slide back and forth several times, then circle around and around in the eye of the storm before exiting and hitting the second and third tornadoes, after which they splash out into the pool. This sounds like an insanely fun ride, I'm gonna have to make my way to Dubai soon. Number 7. Scorpion's Tail The Scorpion's Tail looks like a ride you don't want to mess with. It drops you 55 feet from a trap door, and by the time you hit the loop, you are moving at 30 miles per hour, and yes, it's a complete loop. They estimate 1% of riders won't make it around the loop, and as they slide back, they get take the walk of shame. Well, slide of shame. 3, 2, 1... Number 6. Walhalla Wave At SeaWorld in San Antonio, they have the Walhalla Wave. It is a zero gravity slide and the first of its kind in the US. On the Walhalla Wave, you and three of your friends can enjoy a fast paced thrill ride that will make you feel weightless. Number 5. Jumeirah Scara Now I'm not sure if I said that right, I am sorry. This slide is located in Dubai though. It's a dual slide and people must cross their arms and legs as the doors of the capsules close. The feeling of anxiety and anticipation rushes through you as the countdown begins. The floor beneath you opens up and both people slide down the 394 foot slide and an astonishing 50 miles per hour. That's crazy fast. In a few seconds you reach the bottom of the slide with a major rush. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Number 4. Leap of Faith Now this slide offers a daring and adventurous 60 foot basically vertical drop from the top of the world famous iconic Mayan temple. The slide propels riders at a tremendous speed through a clear tunnel submerged in a shark filled lagoon. Now besides the epic slide, I can't imagine sliding through an aquarium with sharks, that's pretty awesome.
Number three, Insano. Insano is the world's tallest water slide, towering over the landscape at a whopping 135 feet high. It is the equivalent of a 14-story building. Insano has been listed in the Guinness Book of World Records and brave riders plummet down the slide at a nerve shredding speed, reaching around 65 miles an hour. Even though it is 135 feet, the ride only lasts four to five seconds. Number two, L2 water slide. The L2 is the first double looping water park slide and it's located at Therm Ahmad Aqua Park in Austria. The slide is about 80 feet high and you get to a top speed of 40 miles per hour before you hit the first loop and you do the same thing one more time. This ride is pretty insane, but definitely something I wanna see and ride. Number one, Verrucht. Verrucht is German for crazy or insane and is a water slide at the Schlitterbahn Kansas City Water Park. It's standing at 168 feet, seven inches. It was once the world's tallest water slide. In August of 2016 though, there was a tragic accident where a young boy was actually decapitated. He was one of three passengers on a raft with two women, one of whom suffered a broken jaw and the other a broken bone in her face requiring stitches in her eye. The park was closed for two days following the incident, but the ride itself has been shut down indefinitely, at least for the rest of the season. I don't know whose idea it was to put a metal fence around a water slide because if you flew out and hit the fence at those speeds, you're probably going to die anyways. 